Welcome to the magical world of Tableau, where data comes to life with amazing visualization. Have you ever come across customer rating on a website or any online platform where people give rating when they love a product? Well, today I'm going to show you how to turn that customer rating data into beautiful visual representation as stars in Tableau. So are you guys ready to create those twinkling stars for customer feedback? Well, let's jump straight into it. Welcome back, my name is Gurpreet and if this is the first time you are visiting my channel then make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you stay up to date with all of my videos. So let's get started. So let's get started by connecting to the data set. And in today's tutorial I'll be using the data set of customer feedback from the website Kaggle. So this data set comprises of more than 200 records which tells us the customer feedback and is extracted from amazon.com using various machine learning libraries. So as you can see in this data set, we have the customer name who have given the rating, like four out of five, three out of five, and we'll be using this data set to plot that rating in Tableau and also use the comments on those different ratings, like what that rating means to those individual customers. So I have downloaded this data set and let's load that data set by connecting to data and I will go to Microsoft Excel because the data set I have downloaded is in the form of Excel. Click on that and open it. Once you open that you will see the data is extracted and I will go to the sheets and we will see here in the form of table the entire data set. So let's use customer name and drag it to the row shelf and let's use the ratings and bring it to the text shelf. And if you see here, the data is in the form of, data shown in the form of five out of five or four out of four, but we won't, don't want the data in that way, right? So I will just do the full width to show you how the data looks like. But I don't want the ratings in the form of five out of five or four out of four. Rather, I want it as an integer number. So the first thing we need to do is create a calculated field out of rating. And here I will use the function left. So what this function does is, if you click on that function, on the right hand side, you will see the help. So left function basically returns the specified number of characters from the start of the given string. So for example, if we have a value calculation in here, and I want to say like, give me four characters or four letters from the left hand side. So you will see we will get CALC. So the same thing here, instead of getting all the values for that rating field, I just need first value, which is a number. So that I will use it and I will give the name to the field as customer rating and press OK. So now let's break that customer rating into the text mark. And you will see we have all these numbers for each customer and that's the rating number out of five. Now for example here we have a name Akash and he has given rating five, five out of five. So here I want to show five stars. So how we can sh uh, show five stars? So for that we need to create another calculated field which will show us the five different stars. So let's create a calculated field and we give the name star rating. And we will start with a function called space. So what this space function does? So it creates the space in a particular field. So for example, if we have a number five and I put five here like this, then it will create five spaces. So instead of using five here, we will use customer rating, the field which we created. And for this, once we use the function space, it's giving me an error. Let's see what the error is. Space is being called with string. So because that number is string, the customer rating, so either we can change it to float or integer here. 
So if we say integer here, and then we use space function, it will work now. It's a valid calculation, so it will create that many spaces of the number which we have. So let's press OK. And if we bring that field here as well, you will see here there are different spaces created. But it won't be visible just like that because we need to replace that spaces with the star. So let's go here again and add the calculation. Now I want to say all these spaces, I want to replace it with a star. So I will do, I will create a star here. So for that, I will download the star value from the CUNY code corrector link, and I will put that link in the description below as well. So I will copy this Unicode corrector and go here, and I will say replace space with this star. And I will press apply and okay. And now you will see once I did that, all the stars are showing for the star rating. Wherever we have one, it's only showing one star, four star and that. I want to add another thing here where I want to show four blank stars here, which means that out of five stars, this person have only got one star. So for that, again, I will go to the star rating and edit it. And here, I will copy the entire calculation and I will concatenate it with the same one, but instead of using the filled star, I will copy the unfilled star and will paste it there. But here, out of all those five numbers, what I will do is I will do five minus whatever rating the customer has. So if it has one rating, so five minus one is four, so it will add four blank stars, and here we have only one filled star. So let's see what happens when we press OK. So you can see here, we have only one filled star here, and all the four are empty stars, which shows the rating is one out of five. And you can increase the size as well if you want. Uh, and instead of showing it here, I want to bring the star rating into the X mark. And there you can increase the size as well if you like. And you can make the row width, you can adjust it, and you can show it this way. You can also change the colors if you like to. You can make it orange, green, red, whichever color you like. So that's how we can create or we can visualize the customer rating in Tableau in the form of stars. I hope you guys enjoyed this session. If you have any question, please feel free to drop me a message in the section below. And also, if you want to learn more about tips and tricks, then please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next video.